In the near future, in a nation unknown, humanity is entering a new age where the majority are now adepts, people who possess supernatural powers known as septimas. Those without these powers, known as minos, are being hunted and executed by the all-powerful Sumeragi Institute of Human Evolution. Hey indie game fans, let's kick off the video with perhaps a title that is not quite indie since this is from Japanese developer NT Create. Kohaku. The story begins with her fateful meeting with Ix. No. Copen. The mysterious young man known as the Luminous Avenger X. Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger X, I guess, is loosely tied to the Azure Striker Gunvolt series, and in a similar vein, is an action platformer, but this seems to have more of an aerial focus, with jetpacks and flying playing a larger role. By consuming bullets, Copen can perform a high speed aerial bullet dash. Ola, a combat support robot created by Copen. She can replicate enemy Septimas and turn them into EX weapons that Copen can use at will. Rack up over 1,000 kudos points, and Lola will transform into her humanoid idol mode. Whenever Copen's HP reaches zero, Lola can activate her Anthem ability. She will transform into her Awakening mode and restore him back to life. Another yet unseen Awakening may also exist. <laughs> with an electric septima who is affiliated with Sumeragi. He is a ruthless warrior who exterminates Minos at Sumeragi's beck and call. Get ready to face off against Sumeragi's elite soldiers, the Falcons, and their powerful septimas. Very stylish as expected from the studio and great pixel art as well. Hybroxia is a very old school inspired side scrolling shooter map, and there's not much more to say. Nice pixel art, and looks like a fair amount of challenge. Fight and Reach makes the launch on Switch, and is a pixel art beat em up with an absolutely awesome look. Nice variety in characters and great feeling action garnered it a very positive rating on Steam, so the Switch port should be a great place to get it if you want to play on the go. Some of you may know that I love tropical fish since I used to keep them as pets but I've fallen out of the hobby due to the cost and the maintenance required so aquarium simulators always get my attention and fishery is the latest title to do so. Spotting a more cartoony look, you can create a complex interdependent ecosystem and watch it flourish so hopefully the systems are not too fiddly.
the city has been overrun. I thought I was safe. Now, they're here too. Frontline Z is a zombie action game where you scavenge for resources, build barricades, and unleash hot lead on the undead horde. While zombies are very overused by now, this game still looks very impressive, both with the number of enemies as well as the overall look. Travel isn't always pretty. Sometimes it hurts. It even breaks your heart. But that's okay. Wanderlust Travel Stories is a weird one since this seems to be very heavily narrative focused, inspired by real life stories of modern travelers. To be honest, I hate traveling myself since going on holidays can be exhausting. So perhaps I'll learn a few things from this E.T. Days like title. Something good behind. Paper Train also makes the launch on Switch, and is a puzzle game about controlling railroads and trains in order for there not to be any accidents. You can get into a zen-like mode of seeing all the trains moving at once and knowing exactly what you have to do, but what I like the most is the ballpoint pen drawing art style which is wonderful. Northgard made my game of the year list in 2018, and finally makes the jump to consoles. A very clever mix of 4X and real-time strategy genres lead your Viking tribe as they conquer the new continent of Northgard. Quite an extensive campaign with complex systems, as is expected of such games, with a ton of different clans of Vikings to control, each with their own speciality and playstyle. Should be interesting to see how they port this with the use of controllers. Mindustry is a title that no one should be sleeping on, and I did get many comments on my video for upcoming factorial like games that this was missing from that list. Mixing Factorial with a tower defense scheme, establish your automated mining empire and protect your precious mines using defensive structures. Perhaps not for everyone, but for a very specific type of person like me, 
this is bound to hook me in. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.